everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a brand new video segment called 4K Sneak Peek. This is where I'm going to inform you of what movies are coming to 4K format the following month. So that way you can organize your budget and decide what you want to pre-order right now and what you can wait on. Now this video I'm talking about March of 2022 and I'm excited to share with you what is debuting because there's a lot of great titles coming out starting on March First, we have James Bond, the Daniel Craig collection. So all five of Daniel Craig's movies as Bond right now on Amazon, it's listed for $91.99. Regular price is about $99 to $100. So you do have a little bit of a discount if you are interested. Moving on to March 8th, we have about three or four brand new titles coming out on 4K. So the first one is The Apartment from Kino Lorber right now for pre-order at $27.99. Then we have Matrix Resurrection. So we have a few things to talk about when it comes to the Matrix. So regular Matrix Resurrections 4K is $29.96 right now. Then you have the 4K, the 4K four film collection. All four movies on 4K for $74.95. That's an incredible deal. I say pull the trigger on that. If you do not have any of the Matrix films on 4K and you want the entire collection, that's a great price point. So I would really take advantage of that sale. And then there is the Matrix Resurrections Steelbook on Best Buy currently for $34.99 for the pre-order. Our final title coming out on March 8th is Downton Abbey. Didn't this movie come out a while ago? I thought it did. But we have a regular movie with the slipcover, regular 4K with slipcover, and then also a steelbook version. So the regular 4K slip is $19.99, not too bad. And then the steelbook version is $23.79. However, I will say the steelbook is very plain. It's all black with a little bit of gold, I believe, on it not really creative as far as the cover artwork. So I personally will not be picking this up. It's not my cup of tea, but if you guys are all about Downton Abbey, then you might want to pre-order it. I don't know. Going into March 15th, a lot of brand new titles March 15th, starting with another Kino Lorber title, Touch of Evil. However, the price point is a little expensive right now, $42.99. So I am not going to do that anytime soon. This is part of the reason why I'm doing this new video segment because some of these prices are a little bit too expensive and I would always like to know ahead of time. Another one in the $42.99 range is American Werewolf in London from Arrow. That $42.99 just kills me. That's a little bit too expensive for me. I already have this movie on Steelbook regular Blu-ray format that is fine enough for me right now. If it goes on sale in the future, I might consider it. I don't know. Then we have from Shout Factory, The Sword and the Sorcerer, which I've never heard of before, but that's coming in at $29.99. Then there is Shooter Steelbook for $27.99. However, the Blu-ray Steelbook is the exact same cover artwork. So what are we paying for? Obviously, we're paying for the 4K transfer, but... If you already have the Blu-ray Steelbook and you're fine with it, I would suggest to just stick with that and put that money towards something else because I already have the Blu-ray Steelbook. I haven't even watched it yet. I'm good. I'm fine for now. So I'm really disappointed that they're not doing anything. They're just being kind of lazy and just slapping on the same cover art on the 4K. Next up is West Side Story. This is going to be a big release on March 15th. Regular slipcover and also the Steelbook version, which is gorgeous looking. So regular 4K slip on Best Buy right now is $29.99 for pre-order. And then the Steelbook, per usual, the $34.99. Then we have the final title on March 15th. Sonic the Hedgehog box set. Why are we getting a Sonic box set? Well, the sequel is coming out in April already. So they really want to push Sonic again. So they might as well put out this box set. So what is in the box set? Well, apparently you get a very nice cover slip. Okay, that's fine. Then we have the Sonic Steelbooks. You are getting a Steelbook in the box set and then some kind of memorabilia. But the price point right now is $50.99. I'm not sure if that is worth 
$50. So if I were you, I might wait on it to see if it goes on sale, but maybe it's one of those items it'll never come back like Ghostbusters, the Ghostbusters set. I have no idea. So if you really love Sonic, you might want to pull the trigger on this and put in your pre-order now. Now we're going to March 22nd, another huge release week, starting with the Godfather trilogy. So there's two different kinds of Godfather. You have the regular Godfather trilogy, 4K, Blu-ray, regular slipcover, and that's starting off with $86.99. Then we have the Godfather trilogy box set, which has the movies, but also memorabilia inside and a very nice slipcover outside the box set, everything fancy fancy. And the box set is coming in at $106.99. So if you're considering getting the Godfather trilogy on 4K, you might as well go with the box set because it seems like it has all the bells and whistles. It has, you know, books and posters, like a lot of great extra things in there for $20 extra. So you might as well just go with that one. That's my opinion, but I don't know. Take it with what you will. All right. Next up, we have another Kino Lorber title, Eastern Promises at $27.99. Then there is Nightmare Alley, regular slip cover as well as Steelbook from Best Buy. So the regular slip right now at Best Buy, Best Buy for pre-order is $29.99 and the Steelbook, as always, is the $34.99. And finally, on this date of the 22nd, the Hunger Games Steelbook set. I already put in my pre-order for this. The cover artwork looks absolutely amazing. It's a must-have for my collection, and I'm just really looking forward to this set. When I get it in, I will do an unboxing here on this channel. That is currently running for pre-order at Best Buy for $89.99. It may sound a little expensive, but with four movies, you're getting four steelbooks with a nice box set case. I think the price is worth it. So I don't know. I feel like this is going to go very quickly. So you might want to get in your pre-order now if you're a real big fan of the Hunger Games. I'm not a big fan. I'm, I'm, I haven't even watched two of the movies, but I just love steelbooks. So I just, I pretty much paid $89.99 for the cover artwork, let's be honest. All right, now the last day is March 29th. So we have Panic Room. It is rumored the Panic Room is coming out on the 29th. However, I could not find a price point for this. So that makes me think, are they going to delay it maybe because there is no pre-order up? So I can't tell you how much it is currently right now. That's the tentative release date. It could always change. Then there's Sing 2. Coming in at $29.96. Seems like it's a little bit too expensive. You might want to wait for that one to go on sale. Or maybe a double pack with the first thing. Then there is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. This is an Arrow title, Steelbook format. And I always say Steelbook format. I know Steelbook is not a format, but it just makes sense to me, if that makes any sense to you. So I'm just going to continue to say it because someone commented about that. I just like to say Steelbook. I just like to say steelbook format. Okay, that's just me. All right, steelbook format coming in at Zavi.com. This is not going to be available in stores. I do not believe this is going to be in, in store at all. Only online on Zavi.com for $40.99. I might pull the trigger on this one because I'm thinking this is going to be a limited release. Not a lot are going to be made. So I just have this feeling I should get it. What do you think? Should I get it? Let me know down below. Okay, there's another Frankenstein movie called Flesh for Frankenstein from Vinegar Syndrome. Very pricey though, at $59.98. However, when I, when I was over at Zabby.com, I saw the same movie on sale over there for about $40. So if you're interested in Flesh for Frankenstein from Vinegar Syndrome, go to Zabby.com and put your pre-order in over there. That's what I suggest. Okay, we have the last waltz. It's Criterion coming out on the 29th for $34.99. And then the last film available on the 29th is a Shout Factory title called The Message. Now, there is no price on that either, just like Panic Room. So, I'm again, I'm not sure if they're going to delay that title or not. So, I can't tell you a price point. But I'm really hoping that this video helps you out with your budget and helps you plan 
what, where are you going to spend your money? Because we can't buy every single title on the shelf, even though we want to so badly. So let me know, what are you going to purchase from what I just told you on the list for March? Don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.